In batchwise column adsorption, we need to differentiate between two different porosities and two different velocities. We have a cylindrical column packed with particles, in this case, spherical particles. In this enlargement of a section, we clearly see that the particles do not fill the entire volume of the column. The fraction of the column volume uh, that is not occupied with particles is called the void volume and is linked to the porosity of the packed bed. However, if we zoom in on one particle, we see that the particle is full of pores. The fraction of the particle volume that is porous is called the particle porosity or the pore porosity. So the porosity is the total volume minus the volume of the particles divided with the total volume. In other words, the void fraction. An optimally packed column typically has a porosity between 0.28 and 0.5. The fluid fl flows through this void volume, volume and we differentiate between the apparent velocity of the flow and the real velocity, also called the interstitial velocity of the flow. The apparent velocity is the velocity you get if you divide the volumetric flow with a cross-section area. Thus calculating the apparent velocity is a bit like pretending that the column was empty. The real velocity through the void volume is higher than the apparent velocity and depends on the porosity, but also on the tortuosity of the flow channels. Thus, the real velocity is the apparent velocity multiplied with the tortuosity and then divided with the porosity. The particle porosity, epsilon p, may be up to 90%. This pore volume is usually not available to the convective flow through the column. Transport in and out of these pores is usually due to diffusion only.